Today I will be installing my Whistler wheels. All four of them. I'm gonna take off all of my Meister and unbolt all the bolts so I can take off the faces and take it to a shop and powder coat them. Comment down below if you guys know what color I'm going for. It's basic. I'm tucking in the front. I don't know if this is high enough. This is low. Sheesh, turn. <gasps> this is scary. What? See? Oh, shit. My, my. I'm gonna race it up then. Look who's back. The stands god. Stands weld. He's the guy who welded my exhaust. <laughs> tell, tell, tell the people what happened. Last last time they saw you, you were still rocking the EX. So the, so the Civic, because I wanted to bring this beast back. It was, uh, it was definitely my prime, so I think. Hey, I to be honest, this way, this look way better than the EX, man. Uh, I could have made the Civic like, way better. Nicer, yeah. I just didn't feel like putting more money into it no more. Fuck. So. brought this shit back. Way cleaner, bro. Okay, it already. He already broke the lift coming here. This is day two of me disassembling my wheel. I have this tool. It's called Tarball. Tarball or something. What is it called? Paolo told me to get this. Tarball removal. Alright, let's start it off. This is scary, bro. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Huh? What? Is it a glue in there? Huh? Is it in there? Isn't it each uh, bulb has a glue? A special glue? No. Okay. It shouldn't be. So we're taking this off and just watch a little quick tutorial on YouTube. Hold on. This is scary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh it grabs. Oh! <gasps> You're gonna take out the actual thing. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't need bead. The tire. Oh shit. There you go, it's dirty. Please don't need bead. You just open it up. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> That's a lot of air, bro. Oh, so we can just let it go? Like I said, 65 PSI. I mean, it should be fine now, I think. Just pull it. <laughs> Gotta grab it, make it hook. Oh, it feels nice. What? It's cold. It's cold. Oh. What's with it? It's the real thing. Now it's the real thing. It's scary, bro. <laughs> That's still a lot of air. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh damn! Cold air. That was loud. Okay, let's start off with this two first. You ready, bro? It should be good. Yeah. Okay, what I saw in the video. Hmm. Damn, that shit dirty inside. That bitch is dirty, bro. 
I cleaned it already once. Look at that. Look at that. I have my tripod here. Did you know? Wait, never mind. Our, our time doesn't even last a year. Does it last a year? Alright. Oh, it melts. Alright guys, so I'm gonna cut my diffuser a little because it's hitting the exhaust and every time it idles, it's metal to metal and it's loud as fuck. It's kinda annoying. So I'm gonna gonna grind the, the little tip right there just a bit so I have clearance. So as you guys can see we have a little clearance now. Looks kind of weird, but hey, it's not gonna hit metal to metal no more. So as you guys can see, it's the next morning. Uh, we didn't get to finish last night. We had ran to some problems. Some of the nut behind the little work boat uh, strip. And uh, so I grabbed this from Mix. It's an extractor. It should clip into the nut and it should unscrew it. Hopefully that doesn't give us any trouble or strip it more. We'll see. Right now I'm gonna grab the, I needed a rubber mallet to uh, smack the faces on the wheels. So I'm grabbing the rubber mallet at Mix's garage. I am walking right now. Let's see. Yep, that's all we need. Now that I got the rubber mallet, I'm going to head back to the garage and work on the car uh, this is all the bolts from this wheel that are stripped there's one two three four five I mean not bolt nut so it's in the back that are stripped hopefully the extractor could help us remove that I think for this one I'm using an 8 mil wrench but it doesn't look like it's meant for the wrench I do have another tool that we can try to use it so it grips more and doesn't strip. This one. It's called E socket set. I bought this for my bright seat. The bolts to connect it under the subframe uses this type of thread. Hopefully, uh, it fits. Let's see. It turns out this socket did not fit. It didn't, it's not the right start pattern. So I guess we're sticking to the eight millimeter wrench and try to get this out. So we got one bolt done. Everything's off. This is the second wheel, by the way. The first one, there's still two more trip bolts that I couldn't use using the extractor. So I'm gonna find a way not to get that off. So now we're gonna try to smack the faces. It should come off once I hit it hard enough, but it's kind of scary. So I couldn't hit hit the faces with a hammer, so I bought a bigger one. I just went to Harbor Freight and I also got a PB Blaster. Hopefully this works when I'm removing all the strip nut behind. I'm gonna let it soak for now while I work on the faces over there. So I remove all the strip bolts on every wheel and I finally got this face off 10 years motherfucking later. So this is what the face looks like. Ah, finally fucking Lee, man. What time is it? Let me check what time it is. I mean, I got three more, three more to go, but hey, it's a progress. 
It is currently 12.49. I started doing this around 8 a.m. and it's been four hours, five hours. Uh, hopefully I get this off quick so I can drop him off to the shop. I gotta do that two more times and I should be done. All right, we back. We finally finished four of the Meister and uh, we're about to take him to the shop and get him powder coated. So I just dropped off all the wheel here at Snail Motorsports. They did charge me 340 for all of them. So if you guys are interested, uh, stop by Motorsport to get your wheels powder coated. And uh, it's not bad. I like Migs now. Migs? You said Migs? Yeah. Oh, does that work? No, I thought you said he was getting off at 2. Nah, he's going to work at 2. Oh, no. Do you even like ramen, bro? Ramen noodles, yeah. <laughs> Never been to a ramen place, though. Oh, you on vlog. I'm on vlog? You on vlog, bro. They not ready for this. Damn! We outside. We outside in a daily. 